coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, on FPW Championship Wrestling, the highly anticipated rematch for the Championship of the Universe. Kerry or Tega, the Muscle Bomber, defends the title against Shane Ginger Dallas Page Gordon and Curse. And this match will be contested in best two out of three falls. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is main event time for the Universal Championship, Terry Ortega. The Muscle Bomber. He is pretty confident. He is pretty tough. And he looks magnificent with that championship belt around his waist. Hello, everybody. My name is Johnny Balaganouj, the host and the voice of Fantasy Pro Wrestling Broadcasting. Alongside with our beloved senior correspondent, Rick Rocker. Rick, you are looking dapper than ever before. What is your secret? Well, thank you very much, Johnny, first of all. Thank you very much, fans, for checking out uh, Loud and Clear Pictures, the subscribers are boosting as we speak and it's all because of your support the fans Johnny Navaganoush it's all about the fans alright secondly to answer your question uh, my secret is that I iron my clothes now I don't know about you Johnny but uh, do you iron your clothes do you iron that George Costanza t-shirt you have on there? How about those pants? You see, Johnny, it's not about being arrogant, cocky, what have you. It's about being confident in yourself. You see, when I would broadcast the, uh, the, the new class wrestling academy shows, all those assignments, the fans don't see me but the bottom line is, is that we talk a lot. So when I say I look pretty good and I'm well-dressed, it's because I take pride in myself. I take pride in what I wear and how I wear it. Do you understand, Johnny? Is that uh, too much for you in one sitting? Absolutely not, Rick. You are entitled to your own opinion, and uh, I apologize if I have if I have like ruptured a nerve on you. But this is actually a very nerve-wracking situation because in just a few days from now, it's going to be FPW Homecoming to start the new school year, 2021-22, and we haven't done so many shows. I don't know, Rick. I just feel like I'm a little bit behind, you know? I'm a little bit irritated by the fact that we haven't been able to do what we're supposed to do each and every week, and that is to deliver the fans hard, biting action with results that they can go home to and say it all makes sense. So tonight, we're having ourselves a triple threat best Two out of three falls match for the coveted Universal Championship belt. The belt that Kerry Ortega won off of Shane Gordon at Coastal Clash. My new curse was in the fray. He's in the title picture and it's all because of that championship gold. The first person to score two victories wins the belt. Well, that's going to be very exciting right there, ladies and gentlemen. 
Capacity crowd launching on in the THQ Stadium. The Universal Championship belt. There's Kirst, Kerry Ortega, and Shane Gordon. And here we go! All three of these superstars were at each other like flies on shit. This was all about, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest prize in our sport. The championship of the universe. And it's happening right here in the THQ Stadium. Double team moves off right off the bat, fans. And this is expected in a triple threat environment. But at the end of the day, no friends, only foes. One man will go home with the gold and get this. We forgot to mention this during the introductions, but the winner of this match will obviously go home with the gold, but will also have to, 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 to defend the championship this Sunday, September 26th, uh, at, at, at the homecoming show with the winner of a battle royale. Which will also happen, Rick, at the event. The winner of that Battle Royale will go on to face the champion that very same night. Rick. Well, you see, the thing is, this Battle Royale, which, by the way, will be, con will be consisting of 20 extraordinary hombres. Um, one of those men will, will, will be victorious. Definitely, whoever that will be will earn the right to compete for the Universal Championship. Now, that being said, Johnny Labaganoush, it's putting a lot on the plate of the champion, and one of these three men will win that championship belt. Kerry Ortega is the current champion. And if he wins this matchup here, he's going to homecoming. And he's going to compete against the winner of the Battle Royale. Now, what makes you think that Shane or Curse won't be in that Battle Royale? It's all about the championship committee, Rick. You're actually a part of it. We can vote. We can cast who should be a part of that 20-man Battle Royale. And I can guarantee you right now, some of the past stars from the new class are going to be participating in it. Johnny Mira will be a part of it. Uh, Jim Rebel will be a part of it. Shaolin, a.k.a. Hakushi, is going to be a part of that too. So many great stars are going to be competing in that battle royale only for a shot at championship gold. It will also be some of your other favorites to participate in that matchup as well and the fight card will be distributed before Sunday night before the pay-per-view event I can promise you right now that will happen but until then Kerry Ortega is still the current champion and he's got to deal with two men on his very first title defense Rick and very first title defense I think that this match technically shouldn't have happened. I think Kerry Ortega won this matchup fair and square. But I mean, it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. It is exactly how it, uh, how it is. Kerry Ortega is the champion. And as any kind of fighting champion, you got to do what you got to do to remain on top of the food chain. So the thing is, Muscle Bomber, the Muscle Bomber, Kerry Ortega, he's got, a, he's got some big shoes to fill. He's got the shoes of Shane Ginger Dallas Page Gordon, who's been hungry for the Universal Championship for more than a year now. It's been more than a year. It's been before the pandemic that Shane has been starving, scratching, and clawing for that championship belt. You can say it's happened ever since he set foot in an FPW wrestling ring back in 2017. And then there's Curse, the man who hasn't won the Universal Championship in his entire wrestling career. 
since he debuted here back in 2007. And now that curse has a full taste, a full dish, if you will, of what it's like to be on the top of the world, the wrestling world. He lost the championship six months in to that reign, and curse has tried, he has fought, all the odds, I'm talking about Shane, I'm talking about Kerry Ortega, in the days before Coastal Clash went on the air. It was Curse that was winning all those matches. It wasn't Shane, it wasn't Kerry Ortega, it was Curse. So my pick, my pick tonight will be Curse because he wants his bill back. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. Curse has had his moment in the spotlight. Referees, think about Vicious Jeremy at Lords of the Ring. Vicious Jeremy was the special guest referee, and what an incredible slow count of a referee he is. No disrespect to the boss. I, I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, I probably already am going to be in trouble, but the bottom line is, is that Vicious Jeremy did a slow, piss-poor job of being referee and still Curse was champion. Maybe he was trying to be in cahoots with him, but I also realized that he was even slow when Curse went for the count. When Curse went for the pin, he was still slow. He was slow for either man, Kerry and Curse. Beautiful double team uh, suplex right here. Best two out of three falls. The only way to win is to score a pinfall or a submission two times and then the bell will ring and whoever is victorious will go home with the gold. Kerry Ortega is our current champion so he's got to win, he's got to score two points by the end of this match. Which, by the way, we have 23 minutes remaining on the clock. Should this match go to a time limit draw Carry Ortega gets the champion's advantage. That's right. Sorry to interrupt there, Johnny, but champion's advantage. Carry Ortega will retain the championship of the universe, which means that Carry Ortega will meet the winner of that 20 man over the top rope battle royale. Absolutely, Rick. You got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this show has been brought to you by Crayola, our proud sponsor for our 2021-22 FPW Homecoming. Coming to you live on Sunday, September 26th. Mark it on your calendars if you haven't done so already. We are now in the fall of 2021. What a hell of a year it has been, Johnny. An incredible year, not only for uh, for us personally, in our lives, our relationships, etc., etc., but for the wrestling world in, in, in a, as a whole. I mean, CM Punk debuting in All Elite Wrestling. Daniel Bryan, or should I say Bryan Danielson. And of course, Adam Cole, baby! And Ruby Riot or Ruby Soho, which I had the privilege to listen to that song there by Rancid. And besides, she looked like somebody that could possibly sing or play an instrument for that band. So many things have happened in the wrestling world. WWE has lost so many talent as well. Many have been released. Bray Wyatt has been released. And now Braun Strowman, who's left WWE to compete here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling. As a matter of fact, I've also heard that he will be in the Battle Royale on Sunday there, Johnny. How about that? Well, if that is true, I am looking forward to Sunday's event, regardless of the Battle Royale, because we're also going to be seeing nine new stars that will be competing from the Academy, which you've been doing a fantastic job on, by the way. We're going to be seeing the likes of Dr. Gonzo, Butterbean, Lombar Winslow, Jimmy Generic, Ken Shamrock. 
okay? How the lovely ladies of Ladies Championship Wrestling, Mary Val Patton, Beverly Quinn, Tori, from, from, from Degeneration Next, from the Attitude Era. I mean, that's going to be off the charts. And I also forgot, how could I, Kyoto Dragon. That was a muscle buster, ladies and gentlemen. Just letting you know, or should I say a muscle bomber. Carrie Ortega going with a cover. Not even a one count because Kirsch was really on the money on that one. And more double team, more carnage in this matchup for the Universal Championship. And a two count. Shane Gordon is not going to lay down for anybody. Why should he? Johnny makes no sense. I mean, Shane Gordon worked his ass off since he debuted here in 2017. He has climbed the ladder. He has faced off against champions. Hell, he was the world heavyweight champion by beating Jimmy King. All this time, I've always wondered what would happen to Jimmy King after defeating Diamond Dallas Page in that triple, ca triple cage match, huh? What happened to Jimmy King? Was he going to retire? Or was he going to face up against somebody else? And I'm glad that Jimmy King lost to a, a man much younger than he is. Whether he was back in the days of, of Ready to Rumble, back in 2000, you know, or even today. I'm glad that Shane Gordon was able to, to win the World Heavyweight Champion, bring some status to the Diamond Nine, or the Diamond Exchange, or whatever you want to call it. But Shane really brought some emphasis, some dynamicism in the Diamond Nine, and DDP has been very proud ever since. Oh, look at that beautiful ice pick DDT, double underhook DDT right there. Sky Stanley in position, and another near fall. This match continues on, ladies and gentlemen. We have 18 minutes remaining on the clock. No scores yet. And remember, remember this, ladies and gentlemen. If the clock runs out, if our time expires, Kerry Ortega retains the Universal Championship. Champion's advantage. But the show must go on. At some point, the show has to come to an end, Rick. There's no doubt about that, Johnny. You're 100%, you're, you're, you're but I'm hoping that the match will come to an end by having the rightful winner, and I still think that it's going to be Curse because Curse had the belt from the very get-go, and he's done a fantastic job as Universal Champion fighting against everybody, including legends like Arn Anderson, the, the enforcer from the, from the Four Horsemen, the manager of the Nightmare Factory or the uh, Nightmare Family. Excuse me, excuse me. The Nightmare Family. By the way, Arn Anderson is doing fantastic. He is in great shape, in the greatest condition of his life. Oh, beautiful kick right there across the skull. Off curse, hooks the leg. Referee Sky Stanley. There goes one point. One point for Kerry Ortega. This means that Shane and Kirst have a huge mountain to climb, especially those two, because they have to score two more victories, whereas Kerry Ortega only has to do one more pinfall or a submission hold to end the match, and he can have any choice he wishes. Kerry uh, Kirst or Shane Gordon. Can't believe it. Halfway through the match already, Kerry Ortega secures a pinfall over Curse, the champion who was who is my pick. He is still my pick. It's not too late. I mean, you thought that you think that Shane is going to win this thing. Well, Shane just might. Look at this curb stomp onto Kerry Ortega. Oh, Curse. Curse now setting up Shane for the internal damnation. 
This could be the biggest. Oh, rope break. Oh my goodness. Neon Curse is online. That means that. That means that. That means that Cursed is online. Cursed is. Cursed is here. Well, of course, Cursed is here. It's in the match, isn't he? Yeah, but I mean, if he's in the match, then. Then who's operating. Oh boy. Never mind. This matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is getting more and more intense by the minute. Cursed and Shane Gordon have to secure victories, have to secure some points here. Because so far, Kerry Ortega is in the lead with one point. Look at Curse. Against all odds, Johnny Malbaganoush. That's what this is all about, and that's what this was always about. Because in a triple threat situation, it's not just you versus the opponent, it's you versus two opponents, and depending on who they are, that changes the entire outcome for the match. Now cursed, ladies and gentlemen, setting up Shane Gordon, Ginger Dallas Page, as we like to refer him to. This is getting intense. Insecurity kick. Beautifully done. And that was a huge fail from Kerry. A uh, moonsaw, a springboard moonsaw out there. Missed completely the target. And now Shane... Shane was about to, I think Shane was, was going was gonna to score a point. Totally was. If we are familiar with 2K17, is that when you land a submission hold, chances are you're going to lose. And look at this. Hold on, Rick. Carrie Ortega was hanging on to his dear life. If you thought that he was going to forfeit, he didn't forfeit at all. In fact, Shane was still able to get back up and break up the submission, allowing this match to continue because Shane doesn't want Curse to score a point. Oh boy, look at this. Sky Stanley rings the bell and now we've got Curse at one, Carrie Ortega at one, but Shane Gordon at a Zero. This cannot bode well for the Diamond Mine. Bow and arrow lock for the Universal Championship. And I think Curse either broke that up or Kerry Ortega managed to fight out of it. But either way, it's not looking well for Shane. Shane has to score a point now. Listen to this ovation. Listen to this crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for checking out our YouTube page. Check, thank you for subscribing to our channel and, of course, supporting Fantasy Pro Wrestling or all other endeavors for the YouTube channel. Shane now going for the cover. It only gets a one count. Rick, I, uh, I understand that you're just, you're very focused right now on this match. Uh, do you have any, like, what are your thoughts right now? Share with the world, man. Well, it just seems to me that Shane Gordon right now is on the cusp of possibly securing one victory right now by submission. And oh my goodness, my pick, Curse, managed to escape that camel clutch, or cobra clutch, I should say. And look at Carrier taking out trying to steal the victory here. Only for one count. I want my man to win. I believe that Curse has what it takes to bring back the gold belt. After all, he's a two-time, former two-time world heavyweight champion. I want him to be a two-time universal champion. I think and he can do this tonight in this very ring. Backpack stunner. 
by Shane Gordon. This could be the one point that he's been scratching for. Oh my god. This matchup continues, fans, with 10 minutes remaining on the clock. Shane Gordon now eh? went for a bow and arrow submission hold. Can this be his ticket to getting one victory? There it is. Finally, all three gentlemen have one point each. What does this mean for the champion, Kerry Ortega? It's crunch time, Rick. That's exactly what it is. It's time to make your decision. The final 10 minutes of this match, we've got to have an, an, an official victory, an official victor, and who could it be? Well, Kerry Ortega's father is Victor, the original uh, muscle bomber. Once again, more double team, more mayhem in this matchup. This is exactly what it's all about. And like this, stealing the victory. Stealing victories is what triple threat wrestling is all about. Seizing the opportunity. And it all boils down to this. The last nine minutes remaining. Look at this. Sleeper hole. That could have been it. Shane could have been night-night and losing his opportunity to bring back the belt that was his previously. That's right. Shane Gordon went to Coastal Clash in July as the Universal Champion by beating Curse fair and square, referee or no referee. And now Shane Gordon, double under a butterfly, bridged suplex, but the rope breaks. The rope can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Oh, look at that. Even then, even if even if that was broken up by somebody else, the ring ropes were close to the feet of Kerry Ortega. Oh. Double backbreaker. Okay, that was definitely a kick out by by the muscle bomber. Shin breaker. What a matchup, folks. What, a, what an incredible matchup this is. Oh, look at this. There's the muscle bomber. The muscle bomber. Can this be it? Will this be the deciding factor for this Universal Championship match? Only gets a one. I don't believe it. Well, that means, Johnny, that means that uh, Kerry Ortega's got a special locked and loaded. He might be able to do that GTS that he did on Curse to get to, to secure the first pinfall victory of this match. Shane is very slow on picking up the cues right now. This is for the most important championship title in the history of our company, Fantasy Pro Wrestling, the Universal Championship. Oh! Six minutes. Land your maneuvers, gentlemen. Land them well. There is not much time. So land them. Before it's way too late and you're screw glued and tattooed. Well, I haven't heard that expression in a very long time there, Johnny. Have any more enlightening uh, expressions? Well, I may have a few. I'll let you know when I, when I have some. Okay, sounds good there, Johnny. Five and a half minutes remaining on the clock. Oh! Hold the pickles and hold the lettuce! 
We just got ourselves a brand spanking new champion of the universe, Shane Ginger Dallas Page Gordon. My pick, eh, Rick? Is now a two time, two time universal champion. The fuck just happened, ladies and gentlemen? It's behind, it's behind, it's beyond me. I could have sworn that he was either going to be cursed to win this match. Look at that. That's a three count, Johnny. I get that. That's a three count indeed. Shane Gordon, the man that I didn't think was going to end up winning this thing, wins this thing, and now is a two-time Universal Champion. Well, congratulations, young man. Yes. <laughs> Applaud this man here because Shane Gordon definitely earned the right to be the Universal Champion. He's got his belt back, and that's a hell of an effort for a young man like, like Shane. That means... That means only one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Muscle Bomber Carrier Takeoff and Curse are going to be in, are going to be inserted in the Battle Royale on Sunday, September 26. So mark it on your calendar, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday, September 26. It's FPW Homecoming. We have ourselves. Uh, an incredible line of matches, including nine superstars that are that have, that are entering from the academy, the NCWA, the academy, to the big leagues, the main roster. But we're also going to have a 20-man battle royale where the winner will compete for the championship of the universe that very same evening. Shane Gordon. Once again, congratulations on winning back your belt. You are now a two-time champion, and you will meet the winner of the Battle Royale on Sunday, Johnny. I'm actually quite shocked that, that Shane ended up winning. I mean, honest to God, I was on, I was on the verge of saying, Carrie's going to win this. Carrie's going to retain it. It's all Carrie up, uh, up in here. But Shane was able to rise above it and yeah, yeah, man. Shane, you deserve it. He's the champion of the universe, and he's going to homecoming to defend that title. So Shane, you better bring everything you got in your arsenal to win this Sunday. That's all the time we have, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for, for tuning in to our program. The Universal Championship Triple Threat Match on Championship Wrestling. We woo! That we see you again and we hear from you in the comments down below. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so. And don't forget to click on the ringy dingy dingy notifications for all the updated events that we're going to be having here for Fantasy Pro Wrestling. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I am Johnny Babaganoush, the host and the voice of Fantasy Pro Wrestling along with Rick Rocker, the man behind the New Class Wrestling Academy. We wish you a wonderful day, and we'll see you on Sunday, September 26th for FPW Homecoming 2021.